Whenever he is in Warsaw, Judge Waldemar Zurek makes his phone calls discreetly. He has waged an open campaign against the government's attack on the judiciary. And now he fears the authorities are spying on him. This is a war for the rule of law. Someone to replace our system of government, our constitution, with simple laws. One such simple law now allows the Polish justice minister to replace or dismiss judges without a reason. It was passed despite widespread protests. The protesters are determined to continue fighting for an independent judiciary. When I was sworn in, I promised the President of the Republic of Poland that I would guard the Constitution. That's the supreme law. I will protect it until the end. But Jurek says his determination has now made him the focus of a political investigation. He's received numerous threatening letters from various sources. But instead of trying to track down those who sent them, the public prosecutors interrogated him. I don't trust the prosecutors. I'm worried they'll search my computer and all my information and contacts. They're already monitoring my phone calls without my knowledge or my permission. Poland's anti-corruption bureau has also opened an investigation into his financial affairs. He says this is sheer harassment. The police asked how much money I had in a certain account five years ago. I said, the same as in my financial statement. They kept asking, 5,000 sloty? More than 5,000? I don't know that anymore. We tried to find out more from the Anti-Corruption Bureau, but were refused an interview. Instead, we got a terse statement via the Internet. The inspection of Judge Waldemar Zurek's financial statements is one of hundreds that the Anti-Corruption Bureau carries out each year. It's justified and part of our routine. The Anti-Corruption Office also referred to government-friendly Internet portals, which have reported on the judge's supposedly substantial wealth. Political scientist Dr. Anna Mateska Sosnowska says this is part of a tactic. This kind of baiting in the media tends to last a few months. The authorities use it to investigate alleged shortcomings. This has happened to media representatives and NGOs. First they're hounded, then the real blow comes. The investigation against Waldemar Zurek has also hit him in his hometown, Krakow, in southern Poland, which is his second place of business. An anonymous letter was sent to the public prosecutors here. It said I spent too much time in Warsaw and not enough in Krakow. The case was classified as urgent. Now they're looking into how I divided my work over the past two years. Waldemar Zurek has little time to spend with his family these days. But he won't give up. One reason is his daughter, Jana. He wants her to grow up in a free and democratic Poland.